it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Today I'm going to be planning the week of July 13th in my R. Estelle A5 Wide Cloud Planner. This is my memory planner and I am going to be using this super adorable kit from Panda Bird Designs. It's this really gorgeous summer kit. It is only three page mini kit and it's very small, uh, much smaller than kits I usually use, but I have a lot of matching stuff and like gold foiled stuff pulled out from my stash to mix in. So I do want to see how I would get going with this. I just thought this was so pretty and the colors and the florals and the the foiling I just thought this was so lovely so I really wanted to use this um, so I did, like I said it's only three pages so you get like this kind of washi page and uh, the date covers with like this really cool script and then this page with like a little bit of um, scallops and different stuff which she's known for and then plain white checklist which I will definitely be saving I'm not going to use them in here but I will definitely save those for in my ring bound and all three pages of this kit are foiled but that's like I said that's the whole kit so I pulled out a bunch of like quarter boxes and flags and different stuff to mix in with this but I also did have like kind of a slower week this week so I thought this would be perfect anyway I am going to pull out these pages and jump in Okay, so I'm getting started with the date covers from this kit, which I really love. They're like kind of bigger and like the font is like very scripty and kind of like loops down. I don't know. I just was really into them. But anyway, I did not have a slow week this week. What happened here is I had actually meant to use this kit the week before this. So the week of the 6th and I went to start planning like the week of the 6th during the the week of the 13th and I just started stickering down on the on this page not realizing that the page behind it was blank in my planner um total mistake and I didn't realize until after I got the whole base of the spread down but I decided to just like use this this kit for this week and then I went back and pulled in that paper muse crafts one that I used the week before this into the week of the sixth um so this was still a summer kit and I really love the way this looks uh the only only thing was that this is the first week that we went to the beach of the whole summer so I had really wanted to use a very beachy kit but I had already like put down half of these stickers so I'm not mad about it I have a lot of beach kits coming and this was like really bright and vibrant and it's got like some low-key beachy vibes with like the bag and the and the sandals and everything um, but yeah so anyway so I just ended up using this um, and I pulled in some simply gilded headers to, to mix with the uh, the headers from the kit and these other white headers that I that I had as well which I think are from Sadie stickers um to mix in and to get like a full set of headers and I I love everything about this like the the colors are so beautiful the pa panda bird designs kits they just it's printed so vibrantly like it's a really really bright and vibrant kit in person it looks absolutely amazing it's really nice paper it's really nice foiling I just I don't super understand the size of this kit because like the stuff in the kit is so large um it's like all half box size and honestly the half boxes are like even a little bit larger than a half box I feel like uh which made it a little bit difficult to use and I had to pull in like a lot of functional stuff but like so the three page size of the kit what seems like it would work in a smaller planner but all of the individual items in this kit are really large so if you're like a super white spacey planner which I am not I mean I'm a white space planner but like I use I cram a lot of things into one day then this would be a good kit um but anyway it looks really nice as long as you have functionals to pull in with it it's really nice and like I just really love the everything about like the design and the print quality and the foiling and everything so I would definitely order from Panda Bird Designs again just something to keep in mind as you're buying the kits if you plan like this you're gonna need stuff to pull in anyway I put down all the full boxes they're all very foiled so I didn't need to pull in any overlays or anything like that and then um I decided to use like a little skinny piece of that washi up at the top and I have this floral like turquoise and pink uh floral washi from Simply Gilded that I thought matched really nicely so I used half of the split washi at the top and the other half at the bottom with a Simply Gilded one um I did have like a little tear in the washi when I pulled it up so but I was able to like put it back together and you can't even tell uh anyway like I said this was the first weekend we went to the beach so really really exciting we're pretty much going every weekend now um it's 
you know, still doing the whole social distancing thing and all of that stuff, but just doing it at the beach with uh, my parents' beach house. Um, my parents actually bought a new beach house this year, which is why we hadn't been down early in the year because they were making settlement and getting everything ready and everything. But so now we are officially all down and I'm really excited. We're going to go for like a longer trip at the end of the summer after camp is done. But it, we had like a really great weekend and it's just really nice to be down there. We were, had no problem like staying distanced on the beach and everything. So just been really it's really fun and really nice to have something to do on the weekends and uh just to enjoy the weather my kids are absolutely loving the beach we have like a really good flow going we've been a couple times now um and yeah so this was our first weekend there and it was absolutely amazing um and you'll see that as we go through so i did grab this habit tracker um i'm not going to use it as a habit tracker i just used it to mark like camp that my daughter had camp i'm not putting like the camp days and i won't in the fall for school on like the individual days because it's the same schedule every Every week and like it would be a lot because she goes to camp every day so I just have been putting it on the sidebar marking that it was like a camp week or before that that we were like full on social distancing um, obviously things are a little bit more relaxed here fortunately for us the cases in our area are still not bad so and we feel like the camp has had a school which she goes to school where she's gonna Go, where she went to camp um has like a really good plan in place and they have been doing a great job knock on wood there's been no cases so far so hopefully that continues and they feel super ready for the school year having had the practice of camp this summer but anyway that is what's going on with the base of the spread and with you know what's going on for this week so going into the day by day um on monday i had my regular work thing and since there was this really cute work scallop label I decided to use that and after putting that down was when I realized I was planning on the wrong week so that is what the camera jump was but anyway going back to plan the rest of this actual week that happened uh this was like a really bad sleep week just you're gonna see me mark it like a bunch of times we just had a teething baby and like kids sharing a room at the beach and just lots of shenanigans so anyway that's actually the first thing that I'm marking down with one of these once more with love mom life stickers now that I have them restacked that it was a bad sleep night and I was just so so tired and then on Monday was when my parents actually made settlement at their new beach house, which is really, really exciting for us. Um, <laughs> more, well, it's like equally as exciting for us as for them because it's like a family home. So, you know, anyway, uh, so I wanted to mark that as well. And I was just like trying to figure out how to use these little teardrops. There was like a couple of random smaller things in the, in the kit, but I kind of struggled with the layering a little bit. I am not like a layering queen, like, uh, like plan motion plans or some of those ladies are but I do like to try it out um so anyway so I'm just gonna mess around with this for a really long time and then eventually switch it out to a flag just to mark that uh and then as well I just did some reading today yeah like look I'm still messing with that I just like really wanted that to work and it was like too many bows and not enough space so I just decided to grab one of these flags that were like kind of uh, on the washi page of the kit anyway and then moving on I had um I did some reading. Oh, that was the other thing with like this kit is a lot of the pieces that were like a smaller size and even though some of the larger ones had like foiling straight across and it makes it kind of hard to write on them because I don't think it looks as nice when you write on it. So uh, I don't like that as much. And um, I did use some with like scripts and that looks like a little bit better, but it's, it's a little bit challenging. I, I struggled with a little bit with this kit, even though I do think it looks absolutely stunning and like these colors are so bright and vibrant and just I love them anyway I was reading that day so I grabbed a munchkin for that I used a lot of munchkins this week um so that was fun and then as well uh I was just like binging Teen Wolf I kind of like watch Teen Wolf in between when we have like nothing to watch so like if we don't have like a show that we're currently watching or whatever I'll just kind of watch Teen Wolf um and and then it was a really rough night with the baby again. So I used one of these like baby crying emoji uh, munchkins as well to mark that down. So I like she has the best mom life stickers and Marg from Once More With Love. And now she's like actually pregnant. So I bet there's going to be even more. And she already has like the best ones. But anyway, then <laughs> I'm marking. I was so, so tired again in the morning. And I decided to use one of these Fox and Pip girls um, to use some of those as well. Uh, I uh, We FaceTimed like a friend of mine and her kids that live down in Maryland this morning. So I was marking that down. And I used one of these Clever Gal Crafts 
ba uh, bat flags and these are the new like shoreline banners so they're like the summer the summer ones and I just thought they were so cute and like this tan color and like the teal color really matched the kit very well um and then I just went ahead and put that little strip of washi in between there that was from the kit I kind of I did that like as I went this week I think but I probably still end up doing some at the end um anyway and then I pulled in this hot this half box from my newest addiction uh so that I would have like some more stuff to mix in um and I marked that we went for a walk because we did and then I put my new nails on this week so I was I th think of that's actually it might be the nails that I'm wearing in this video, um, which these are like the Dashing Diva uh, gel nail stickers. So you just like put them on and then like kind of file the excess off. They like go on like stickers so you don't have to paint or anything. And then you just put like a layer of clear top coat over them and they last forever. They last for like three weeks. Uh, and then I only ever, I take them off because out because of like growth, not because they're like coming off or anything. So anyway, I'm really obsessed with those and I have been wearing them a lot lately, but I put them on and I just like listened to a bunch of podcasts and stuff and I was just hanging out um Slate Magazine the, whatever their like legal podcast has like this really cool RBG like two-part podcast right now that like if you like um that kind of stuff it's it's a really good listen uh, that's like all interviews with Ruth Bader Ginsburg and like other people from her law class which from at Harvard where there was like only nine women who had graduated so anyway it was a really cool listen um, so I was I think maybe listening to that or some other stuff regular podcasting stuff etc then Wednesday was tax day uh, and we had to pay our taxes or fix finish our taxes stuff up um we did get like a nice refund but then because i pay quarterly taxes because i am self-employed so then i just had to dump it all into my taxes for 2020 so womp womp anyway then we went to the playground and we met our friends there um in the afternoon i did some filming and some reading and some more watching of teen wolf so you know same old same old going on then on thursday we went for a walk again uh and i used a fox and pip girl and with a clever gal crafts flag to mark that um and then oh and then while i was putting the baby down for a nap my son who's like two and a half found a like a pencil and a crayon and drew all over the floor and the walls which was super super horrible he's like never done anything like that before he's usually like my easiest kiddo um but anyway it was he was like so proud of himself and I was like oh we don't draw on the walls most of it was in pencil fortunately so that part came up pretty easy and we're in like a rental that's not super nice anyways right now while we're doing construction on our house it's uh, on like the house that we bought and stuff so I'm not too worried about it anyway and then this day I also finished a book I finished the fascinators which was just like okay I kind of I knew it was going to be okay because I'd heard like really mixed things about it um it was like a YA fantasy novel and like the character stuff was really nice but the world building was like really really bad like almost non-existent and what was existed made like very little sense so that is what I have to say about that the friendship stuff in it was like really really super nice though so not all bad I probably read the whole thing in one day or maybe in two days anyway it was like not a long book or anything and then that night I just like hung out with my husband um so I used that little Fox and Pip like couple watching TV one. So we just had like a nice night and I put that on a stick of washi. And I also did some packing this day since uh, we were going to go to the shore on Friday. So on Friday we went down the shore, which like if you're not from Philly or Jersey, that's the beach um that's that's what we call it we say down the shore instead of going to the beach so we went down the shore and my dad actually came and picked me and my son and the baby up and he drove us down in the morning so I marked that using like the little scallop and then my husband picked my daughter up from camp in the afternoon and he drove down separately with her so that we still only had one car there but we got there earlier so that I could like help with the house a little bit and also just like because we had nothing better to do that day and everything and then that night we had some wine time and we had like a nice cocktail hour and I like actually drank I don't I'm not a big drinker at all but I drank like a little bit more than I usually do and I could definitely feel it and my mom was like this is the most relaxed I've seen you in like years and I was like maybe I should drink more uh, probably not but maybe and we ordered dinner from our absolute favorite takeout place and got like a super feast of Italian food and pizza and it was amazing and then that night I just did 
some reading. Um, and yeah, <laughs> it was just a really, really great kickoff to beach season and to the weekend. And like, I mean, summer's been going on, but now it really feels like summer because we, I've been going to the beach to down the shore, like every summer since I was a kid, like probably since before I was born. And honestly, so was my husband. Um, like he's from this area too. And it's just like very much part of, of life here. So it does not feel like summer until we're down the shore. And like, we just moved back from Texas last year. So this is our first summer, like going every weekend. Usually, uh, the past few years when we've been coming in from Texas, we would just go for like a couple of long trips or one really long trip because we've like had maternity leave timing and stuff or paternity leave timing. Um, so we had like last summer, we, we came for, I think I came from the whole summer and my husband just worked from home here. And then the summer before that we were, he was on paternity leave and, um, and I was on maternity leave. So we, we stayed down for like the full summer, like six weeks or eight weeks or something like that. But anyway, so now we're going every weekend and we'll go for a long trip at the end. Anyway, Saturday we had a really horrible sleep. So I grabbed one of those co-sleep in Fox and Pip stickers, which are like one of my new favorite girls. Um, and that's just like everybody in like kind of the like little space together same room situation the kids are sharing a room and they're like super super close to us um so yeah bad sleep for everyone um, but then we went to the beach and it made everything all better um we had it really fun my kids like never want to get out of the ocean they're like so into it so obsessed with the ocean and then I'm just trying to fit everything in at the bottom we had um we got lunch sandwiches for lunch from like this really popular sandwich place that we also love. It's, like the first week in there, you got to get like all of our favorite things. So we got hoagies and then we had some like social distancing visitors, uh, both on the beach and like at the house and like the outside space, like just people stopping by to say hi. Like, like I said, we've been going to the same like town down the shore since like I was a kid. So you, we see all the same people and like you know, kids grown up and with their parents and everything. So it's just like a lot of like a, like a really strong sense of community there. So people were stopping by to say hi, my parents, friends, and like a lot of my friends are down at like their parents places too. So anyway, um, it was just really, really nice. And then this day I finished the book Summer Darlings, which was honestly like so good, except for that the ending like was honestly, it felt like it was from a completely different genre of book. And I was just like, wait, what just happened? Um, so the whole book was like really, really great. It's like, a, it's like a summer nanny diaries type, uh, like a nanny diaries type story, except for that it takes place like in the sixties. Uh, so anyway, it was really good. And then the end was just like this totally different genre of book. I, I don't know how to describe it without spoiling it, but anyway, I really liked it except for the end. Um, and then, on Sunday, we went to the beach again. Oh, and then that night we had like a, just like a barbecue, just with our family, not like, you know, with any people or anything. We're not like seeing other people besides our family, um, except for like in distancing and outside kind of situations. Anyways, then on Sunday, we went to the beach again uh, and had some more water fun. And so I decided to use that water splashing munchkin, like seriously, do not know how to get my kids out of the ocean. They just like stay in the ocean the entire time we're there. And we go to the beach like super early in the morning. I think this day we like got on the beach like at nine o'clock and then we just like stay until lunchtime because then they need lunch and naps and they can't really do that at the beach, obviously. Um, but it also means that the beach is less crowded when we're there. So it's really easy to maintain distance and keep everybody safe and everything. So then we had bagels and we just like not packed up because we were like leaving all of our stuff there. That's why I had like packed so much on Thursday um but we so like we could just leave all our clothes there and like have like a second set of toiletries there and stuff since we're going back and forth so much that way we just have to take like one little bag with us that's got like the stuff that we don't have more than one of like the baby sleep sack and stuff like that anyway um so then we just showered and have lunch after the beach and then just drove home and let the kids nap in the car on the drive home which works super super well and we've done it again since and it's been working out really really well it's not a super long drive it's only like 90 minutes or so um like even with like a little bit of traffic with really bad traffic it would be more than that but like without any traffic it's like a little bit over an hour so we're super lucky we live very close um and then that evening we did like a bunch of contractor stuff at some point this weekend uh which I put like shoved in there we had a contractor a call with our contractor and this is when we like actually picked our final contractor we had like been talking to like three different people and getting different proposals and stuff like that so we finally made a decision this weekend um and you'll see that on my next plan with me 
because we signed like we signed the contract and sent like a first check the week after this but anyway so we were like talking to him and we were like looking at like a bunch of different stuff related to that and everything and like making our lists and changing our lists and all that good stuff so anyway I'm just filling this out and then as I've fill it out I've been doing like the script words and also the like deco pieces and kind of doing that as I go through uh, which has been working really well lately it does take me like a little bit longer to do but I think it turns out really nicely this way um, but anyway yeah so that is just pretty much everything for this week I like I said I'm just so obsessed with how vibrant this kit looks and this was just such a fun weekend it was a really nice week despite the horrible sleeping but it was a really fun weekend the beach was just so amazing it felt so good to be back down the shore and we're just so lucky to be able to do that and like to have my parents and have my parents have a place and just that we can use it and everything and like especially now and I don't know I'm just really really grateful to them and really grateful that we have that space and I am just looking forward to going again and again and we will be there pretty much like every weekend and then for a couple weeks over the summer but yeah um that and more beach kits actual beach kits coming starting the week after this so I have like a bunch of beach kits that I will be using and I'm very excited for that um but yeah so I am just like I didn't do any like journaling this week I used the the hearts for meals because they had like seven stickers but I just wrote like first weekend at the beach and camp I feel like that 100% covers all of my journaling needs for this week's but yeah anyway that is everything okay that is everything all finished up love how this looks let me just give this a little wiggle for you so so cute with all the foil and the bright colors um i did all of my writing in a pigma micron zero three and let me show you what i have left from the kit so i actually didn't use any of the scripts but i will definitely save those and i just have this one left which i forgot to use uh and i used oh and i didn't even use this that's really funny because i pulled in like so much other stuff i really need like more quarter and half boxes and stuff a lot of the stuff in this kit is quite large and i did want to use the scallops i thought they were so pretty but i did not use that my weekend and got so busy and I, I was like trying to save this for the weekend and then my weekend was so busy so I was like trying to squeeze everything in so I did not need to save it but anyway and two little pieces of washi slash headers I'm gonna save these checklists and like all of this word stuff as well because that's really super useful to have but anyway that is everything so if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up I'd love it if you'd subscribe and check me out on Instagram at my crafty plans to keep up with everything going on in my planners bye